All right, guys, we're back in the shop tonight. We're gonna to be doing the uh, chain case uh, lube change. And for that job, you're gonna need a uh, T30 Torx and a uh, half inch drive. Um, you'll need, obviously, the copper chain case lube, which is the synthetic chain case oil, the XPS from Skidoo. That's what they've manu the manufacturer suggests. Um, there is no set limit. It basically is uh, filled off the site mark. So. I'll show you what you got and we'll go on with the process here. So let's get her started. So on this sled, you basically have a couple things you're looking at. Right here is the sight hole when you pull this plug, which you're not going to pull that yet, obviously, until you drain the sled um, chain case. And the fill portion of that is actually right here. You're going to pull this vent tube and pop this uh, rubber cover off and that will be your fill point. Um, if you're looking for the chain case drain, that's right down here underneath. If you look at the lowest point of the chain case, it's actually in a hole right here. You can see that. That is a T30 driver, it goes right up in that hole. You pull that out, drain your chain case loop. So I'm gonna pop that off and drain the lube and we'll uh, move on to the next steps. All right, guys, while well, that's draining out, we got the plugs removed in the bottom, which is down here draining into the pan underneath. Um, there is a magnetic plug that goes with that, which is sitting right there on that piece of paper, uh, tools. That is the magnetic drain plug that goes in there. There will be some goo or debris on there. Just wipe it all clean. So we move back up top here, and that is the sight mark drain right here. So if you look at the whole chain case, there's the back edge cover right here. It's right almost in the center of this below the uh, lower peg mount so that is the plug you want to take out that is the sight plug so when you fill you're gonna watch that mark um, until the fluid starts to come out of there that is full at that point so I'm gonna pull that and show you what we got and then pop this uh, side cover off for the uh, fill tube which is right here that's where we're gonna fill into so we're gonna take the two the plug out and remove that and I'll show you what we got and move on from there all right, so the sight plug is out. Obviously, there's no fluid coming out since we drained it out of the case. I recommend putting a paper towel or a shop rag down here in the bottom. So as you do start to fill this through this access point, and then you're watching this drain plug as the fluid starts to come out, you want to make sure there's a catch point. Obviously, so it doesn't get down in your sled and just sit there and you got to clean that up. So anyway, make sure you put that in there and keep it clean. Moving on. All right, guys, so there you have it. That's the fill tube or the vent tube that goes into that... Uh, rubber housing which is right here um, so carefully pull that um, vent line off and then uh, you're gonna basically pry this back and it's just got an o its own internal lip that snaps back into this thing when you put it together so um, I'm gonna show you it doesn't look like you can fill this here but there is there's a slight gap between the, the outer rim of the chain case there and that edge of the um, gearbox so that you can actually put a small funnel in there and fill right there so just be careful and go slow and then watch the sight mark which is down here as you're filling so as you're pumping that into the top they're squeezing into the top um, you're gonna watch that sight mark and watch the fluid start comes out so um, that's the step we're going on to obviously make sure you've already put the drain plug back into the bottom of the sled which is down there where the one you moved make sure that it's back in before you start these next steps Otherwise, you're just going to waste a bunch of uh, chain case lube. All right, moving on. Okay, guys, I'm sure you're wondering what this is right here. Obviously, it's a um, mustard or ketchup dispenser. This is actually a little hack, quick trip trick to make this uh, job go a lot easier. Obviously, it's got a nice small fill nozzle, you know, hose nozzle, so you can just dump your chain case fluid in here. And then all you have to do is tip that right into that crack crevice right there and start pumping and watch that sight mark. That's all we're going to be doing. So. As you're squeezing, just watch that sight mark carefully and we'll keep going on. But you're doing a trick like this, this makes the job a lot easier than using a small funnel because they just rattle loose. You got to do two things at once. So you can do this one hand and watch the fill. So it's a lot easier this way, guys. All right. Let's get her done. Get that done. We'll keep moving on. All right, guys. So that was about the only step there. It makes the filling that easy. Um, when I saw the oil start to come out, I've uh, tightened the cap back up to six Newton meters. Um, put that back on. Next step to do is just to reattach the uh, rubber plug and the uh, slip the breather hose back in and you're finished with that job. That's all there is to it. 
All right, guys, good luck with our next projects and uh, stay on the right side of the trail and keep it safe. Have a good one.